Hello, I'm Paul Zajczyk. Today I would like to address a question asked about last week's video about the four exercises for the adductors. Last week we went over the four exercises that train the adductors. In a wide stance, we were doing the squats, the deadlift, the stiff leg deadlift, and the slightly bent knees deadlifts. Okay. So the question was, how does that apply to the combat and how does that apply to the hoist stance? Well, and what happens if the toes are forward all the time? So the question pretty much is, if you have your toes forward, what happens if you try to squat down with the toes forward? You could squat down to some degree, but the movement becomes from the ankles. Okay, as you could see, the movement goes from the ankles, from the knees, and whatever happens from the hips pretty much does not work the adductors as movement. The adductors here stabilize, they definitely do stabilize. And if your legs are not too wide, the adductors will be doing the same work as the hamstrings, extending the hip, but they're not primarily going to be doing the adduction, okay? As opposed, if your toes are out, here you have the upper legs come out and then come in, so you can see the adduction, okay, here. Or holding your legs in adduction, holding your legs apart and moving, that's another issue, okay? As for knees bend going forward. But if you're squatting straight down, it's best to keep the toes out, not forward. Now, how does that apply to actual combat? Well, this is a training exercise. This is not an application to combat. In combat, of course, you would not try to spar somebody. Let's say you spar somebody on the side, um, like a point fighter would do or some kickboxers would do. So you spar somebody on the side instead of spar somebody forward, whichever stance you have. Instead of this, you are here, okay? So if you're in that position, you do not want your toes out, okay? Because if your toes are out, number one, you're losing stability, and number two, you're losing mobility. So pretty much you're gaining nothing. Okay, maybe you can get a little bit lower here than you would here, and it's easier on your hips, but in terms of stability and mobility, especially if you intend to stay this high, and you have no intentions of going this low, you really do not need to move your toes out. The toes should be forward. Because once again, if the toes are out, you're pushed forward or you're pushed back, you're going to fall. Or if the movement takes you forward or takes you back, you're not going to be very stable. Okay? Having the feet parallel makes you more stable. That's for stability and for mobility. Of course, if you want to push forward, you have to have the full range of motion okay, in that ankle to propel you forward okay, or propel you back. If you're like this, you know, it's not that easy and you don't have that much force to propel you forward because the ankle is already not very useful here, okay? Same thing with the leg. Stronger push from here than from here if you're moving side to side in actual combat. So, once again, this is not for combat training specifically. This is not how you would actually find yourself in actual combat, okay? If you're doing forms, you're doing weapons, that's a different story. Okay, and as far as the horse stance itself, if you are training for a horse stance, for a wide horse stance, would you do the horse stance like this, or would you do the horse stance like that? That depends on your style, okay? It's a little bit easier on your knees and easier on your hips to do the horse stance this way, okay? Now, if you train your horse stance for something that you're going to actually apply in combat, don't do a very low horse stance. Stay higher, have your toes forward, and this is going to be something that you do in combat. Of course, if, you know, it's your style, and your instructor tells you to do that for whatever reason, and he has a good reason, and you want to keep your toes forward and stay very low, you can do that, but remember, you have rotation in your knees on that, you have your hips not in the best possible position, so if you let go a little bit of your toes, let them come out a little bit to the side, you're in a safer position. 